and here, I chose in one card, in one card, and I took out this card, I put it face down in the middle of the desk. I don't know, but it's an experiment. Imagine if the card that I turned face down, and it's now in the middle of the deck, is exactly the card that you are thinking. If it works, now here kisses and kisses and... Now, can you please come with me here, just one second, and applaud for here, of course. Scientists realize that we know something about the brain that maybe they don't. 
we know how to fool the rain in a few words. They don't like that word, but uh, they think that. And we were playing with the attention of the people and memories and creating false memories for thousands of years. And that knowledge that I have of today, this small tree that I did, is a knowledge that has been passed through generations from masters to apprentices. Mm. Okay, I'm talking about neuromagic, I did a trick, and we are talking that neuroscientists are interested in magic, but what is magic exactly? What is magic? Well, if you Google the word, you can find the art of fooling people for entertainment. I don't like it, but it's quite true. <laughs> it's like a fun. You know, I, I, you know, you're a magician, you can do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and appear something absolutely wrong. Supernatural powers, I like to say that, but it's a shame that no, but I try. I cannot make work this for example. But supernatural powers absolutely not wrong. I, I have a lot of respect for people that maybe work in this area and also interest me, but it's not the, the matter of the magic that I came here to talk about. A thousand of different Maybe many combinations, different combinations of uh, those definitions. But still, it's not magic. What is magic? Well, the other day I called my professor magic and I asked him after, I don't know, 14 years or 30 years now, hmm, you know, I've never asked something like this of you, but to you, but what is magic for you? And he said, well, he replied, magic. It's emotion caused by something or someone that directly attacks the intellect and causes the sense of wonder and mystery. His name is Amilcar, and it's an amazing definition of uh, magic place. He goes too far. The key word here is um, mystery. Um, mystery is a key word in magic, but it's too far. He goes too far. There is something before, something before that I would like to tell you. And then just talk a little bit about David Bamberg, who was an amazing magician from England. And he becomes a he became a, he became a Japanese magician. His name was Fu Manchu. Okay. Amazing, eh? I have to say, he was one of the best magicians well, in the whole times, I would say. And he said, the eyes are faster than the hands. The eyes are faster than the hands. No escape. So it doesn't matter how fast are you with your eyes, with your hands. <coughs> the brain is even faster than the eyes, and that's presumed all uh, neuromagic theory. The brain is even faster than the eyes. That's nice. That's why you have to attack the brain, he says, to all the magicians and the magic community. You have to attack the brain, forget about the eyes, forget about being fast with your hands. The brain, attack the brain. Magic is then surprise before everything, before mystery, before any other kind of emotion, magic is surprise. So we have in one way a surprise and we have mystery. So let's make a little bit uh, to show the difference because we work in this in your magic experience. Let's say that we have a ghost and some, you know, uh, Events happen, okay. happen, 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 and suddenly those events led us to uh, let's do a surprise. Okay, we are in a surprise. We oh, got a surprise, but we can understand all these steps. We can understand them. We can know them even because we are told, even because we can know them for past experiences or whatever. So when we try to come back after the surprise in effect, and we want to find the reason, boom, immediately. What you get is just a surprise. Oh, I say, it's a surprise. You arrive to your house, after work, super tired, you open the door of the toilet, 